Hey there, Jed Coverness here from JedCoverness.com, your trusted resource for all things health and wellness. I'm a certified exercise physiologist coming to you from Roseau, Minnesota, small town, big opportunities. Come visit us, right? Five miles to Canada, gotta love it. Today's weather, 68 degrees. Gotta love weather, right? <clears throat> this is talk therapy, a tool that I use to get past my analytical mind, think out loud, put it all out there. That weather, huh? How about that weather? Everybody loves to talk about weather. <laughs> uh, yeah, 68 degrees, some white fluffy clouds. Uh, I don't remember what they're called, what kind of clouds they are. My kids would know. They always talk about the clouds. They, they talk about storm clouds and what these puffy clouds are called or whatever, right? They're hilarious. They, they're in school. They're, they're, it's current and fresh in their mind. I don't think about what kind of clouds they are, whatever, right? But yeah, talk therapy. Who knows what the hell is going to come out of this mouth. Ah. Uh, yeah, just hanging out, having fun doing the work every single fucking day every single day no matter what that's what it is day 7 of 75 hard holy balls let me tell you I'm pretty fit not like you know 6 to 8% body fat fit but more like 12 to 15% body fat and uh, let me tell you I'm sore as shit today. I'm sore. And if you hear, okay, here's one. If you want a solid chest workout, grab a baby, preferably your own, right? You just grab a baby and throw it in a stroller. But grab a stroller, put a bowling ball in it, or a baby, or a toddler. Whatever you need to do, put some weight in that son of a bitch, and wheel that fucker down a... Uh, a gravel road. Push that bitch. You don't have to run. I was, you know, I wasn't clipping, but I was going maybe 2.8, 3.0 on the old treadmill, three miles per hour in a tread. And uh, man, my chest from like squeezing that son of a bitch is, it's sore. And then just in general being sore from, you know, the old 75 hard, like two a days. And one has to be outside and drinking a shit ton of water and like there's so much more to it look it up do your own homework find what works for you and and what's perfect about this is the 365 watt journey the program that I have created that I have been doing for the last 1161 days in a row or something like that right um, it go, it like it it complements it very well. Like every single part of my body is sore as shit. And then the next day, within the last seven days, right? Like I work a different part of the body that's not very sore anymore. And then I work a different part of the body that's not very sore anymore. Like it's such a it's perfect. Like dare I say it's fucking perfect. Like there's no better program out there to do the 75 hard program with for for that, right? Like, do my wad journey. Do it. Like, it, it complements it. Man, it, it's like a right hand meeting a right hand, and it's a handshake, and it just, you know, like, you know a solid fucking handshake when you, when you feel one, you're like, Jesus, that, yes, that was a handshake. That's what this is. 75 hard meets the wad three, uh, the 365 wad journey, and fuck yeah, like it's such a massive beast. Both of them, right? Like you gotta go for a year for the wad journey, and then 75 hard is you're going 75 days in a row. <clears throat> so I, you know, I'm jacked, like both physically and mentally emotionally, spiritually, financially, all that shit. Like, it is just challenging every single piece on top of what I was doing, what I was already doing. And um, I'm just telling myself this. Like, I'm not, you know, like my ego is sitting right beside me going, fuck you. B 
because it, it's pissed off at me right now. I can feel it. My ego is pissed off at me and it's sitting there telling me all the shit that I should be doing, all the shit that I could be doing, all the shit that I would be doing, all, you know, coulda, shoulda, woulda. It's just sitting there telling me, be like, yeah, but you know, you have this idea. Why are you doing that? You should be doing this. You should be doing this. How come you're not doing that? And really, I just sit there and look at it and be like, fuck you. I don't need you. I don't. I'm right here right now. Between here and here. Right? Finding the coherence. And that's incredible. Like, my ego is sitting over there reminding me all the shit that I don't have done. That I have not accomplished that I am not successful at, that I have not been, that I failed at, that I fucking sucked at. Like, here you go, you did this, remember that? Remember that, remember that, remember that? And I'm sitting here and, like, I silenced that voice and it's just sitting over there going crazy. I just don't pay attention to it. I could and make that the personality that I have and then just be pissed off and talk and bitch about whatever I've done in my life or haven't done or what I want to do when I haven't gotten to do it or all the mishaps and misfortune in my life and, and it's okay, right? Like I acknowledge it. I accept it. I just don't have to pay attention to it. I'm not delusional of the fact that I fucking suck at a lot of stuff. I'm not delusional to the fact that, you know, I could be doing more. I should be doing more. I just don't really sit here and dwell on it. So many people just stop doing what they're doing because it didn't work. And if anything, if you want to talk like weight loss, I've gained weight. I'm up to 187 pounds on this day. 187 pounds. I haven't been this heavy for a long time. But um, let me tell you, it is different composition. It is different. Some of it could be water, right? Some of it is definitely water. You don't drink a gallon of water every day and not have water weight. But other parts, other pieces of that, man, that's muscle. And some would say, well, you don't gain muscle that fast. You do if you work out every single fucking day for, what, over three years in a row? Like, I haven't missed a day in three years. And on top of that, I've been doing 25 push-ups for, what, 275 days in a row? Like, think about that. And then I up the intensity even more? Yeah. My body's like, fuck. We have no choice. No choice but to start taking everything in and just throwing it at those muscles. No choice. And yet my ego's right there. <laughs> just fucking curled up into a ball like uh, you don't even need me anymore I'm so pissed and I'm like it's okay I need you it's not for the reasons that you need you it's what it is man get to know yourself so much that you don't need some shit you just don't there you have it Corporate Nation, thank you for being here. I love you. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow. However it needs to be for that button to be pushed. I love you guys. I appreciate you for that. It means the world to me. Yeah. Today's the best day of my life. I challenge you to say that. Do it up. And as always, if you're willing to change from the neck up, then you will change from the neck down. That's what the t-shirt says. Yeah, yeah. Uh, find those on Amazon. Search YGT Fitness Jed then you'll find my t-shirts. Stay safe out there. Be blessed. Bye for now.